Welcome to Vulcaning Heritage Farm at Spring Valley. Today we are having our special event, which is springtime on the farm, and we couldn't have picked a more beautiful day for it. It is absolutely gorgeous today, sunny, and uh, have lots and lots of people coming in, everybody doing different things. We have a whole bunch of stuff for you to see. Um, my name is Patty Kennedy, and I will be taking you around. Come and join us. want to start by asking how'd you find out about us what sort of things have you done those kind of questions so um, I've they've come every year for the past couple years so we thought we'd come check it out this year we recently moved to Palatine so we actually were able to come this year so we were super excited <laughs> where'd you move from uh, Des Moines Iowa oh. <laughs> so you've been to living history farms I yes. assume yep. <laughs> yeah. it's kind of the same yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good, good. Have What have you all partaken in so far? What have you done so far? Uh, they've been super excited in the plowing, so that's as far as we've gotten so far. <laughs> that's all right. There's plenty more to do. And how about you all? Are you all from around here, or do you live a little further out? We're in Palatine. Palatine. We li yep, we live in Palatine. And yes, I grew up in Schaumburg, so we've come here for a long, many years, and I'm a teacher too in Palatine, so I bring schools here, we bring our classes here in the spring, and so you're well familiar with the whole hands-on thing. That's yeah. awesome! Yeah. All right, I'm here today with two of our volunteers. Um, we have uh, Lewis and Gretchen. <laughs> Very good. Um, they are both uh, here to talk about uh, the event. And Lewis actually um, is a longtime camp person. So he started out that way, and he actually is here to talk about camps. You want to talk a little bit, really quick, about sure. camps? Um, Spring Valley uh, Heritage Farm offer a wide variety of summer camps that all take place at the farm. Kids can get into the history here and work with the animals and do things that they otherwise would not be able to do outside of here. And don't forget about the Nature Center. Oh yes, and the Nature Center offers uh, great outdoor camps that get kids outside and a lot of great time outside where they can walk through the Spring Valley and lots of fun crafts and activities. Lots of hands-on stuff. And then Gretchen over here is talking about hands-on stuff too today. She actually is talking about all of our games. So you want to tell more about 19th century games? Yeah, um, we have a bunch of games that kids would have, kids and their families would have made in the 1880s because there weren't just stores to go run out to like Target. Um, and then kids get to jo enjoy, we have stilts here, um, falls in the cup like this, um, and lots of different activities that they can experience, uh, things that aren't like on iPads and stuff nowadays. And not to forget your volunteer responsibilities, how did you guys get excited and learn about volunteering here at the farm? Um, I took the camps here and was introduced to the volunteers through the main camp counselor, Pat Johnson. Good deal. And you? Um, one of my friends volunteered here before and she said, you have to do this, it's so much fun and I've been like, enjoying it ever since. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. Good. What you up to? I'm cleaning laundry. Do you think you're pretty good at it? I think so. You think so? Do you, can we see if there's any stains? Can you tell me how you're doing it? First we uh, do this, like mm -hmm. get some soap on it and then we rub it on this metal thing and we get all the dirt off it. You know what this is called? Oh. It's called a washboard. It's really simple because you wash with it and it's a board. So pretty easy, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. Is this your first time doing this? No. No. Do you come to the farm often to do this? Yes. 
<laughs> Fun. Good deal. Well, what else are you going to do? Have you done anything else today? Uh, yes. What sort of stuff? I mix. I mix butter and I um, ate hot dogs. Were the hot dogs good? Yes. Did you get to taste any of the butter? No. No. Do you know how to make it at home though? No. Oh, it's really easy. You use some whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, and you just shake it in a jar and you get butter. So make sure you try that when you get home, okay? Okay. Well, thank you very much for talking today. I appreciate it. Yeah. You have fun. Enjoy that. You want to ring that out in the ringer at some point? Hey Dick, would you like to talk about chickens really quick? Talk about chickens. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to know? <laughs> you want to know why some eggs are brown and some are white? That would be a perfect thing. Okay, that's because of breed. Certain breeds lay brown eggs, others lay white eggs. It has nothing to do with the color of the bird. They can be brown, they could be black. Uh, it doesn't matter at all. It's just strictly a breed thing. And the difference between the egg, uh, whether its shell is white or brown, is insignificant. An egg is an egg. Mm -hmm. As far as um, light and dark meat, which people sometimes wonder about, the, the parts of the bird that exercise the most are dark. So in a chicken, because they don't fly much, they don't use their chest muscles, their legs, the drumstick and the thigh are brown or dark meat, and the chest, which is the breast, is white. Now in some wild birds, like wild geese, they fly and do all this stuff. They're pretty much all dark meat. So it's, it's a, the turkey, for instance, is only in the legs, just like the chicken, with the big white breast. Um, oh, what a, oh, cooling, they can't sweat. Chickens cannot sweat, but they have a comb and they have wattles, the red on top and bottom of their head. Now when blood goes through those two parts, because they're sort of separated from the body, they, it actually cools a bit. So when it goes back into the body on its trip around, they just keep, blood keeps moving. It comes in cooler and cools the bird off. But when it gets to be over 80, they'll start panting. And I've noticed, see, they're holding their wings out a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's to cool them off. Well, thank you all for coming out and joining us today. That's all we have time for. Um, be sure to visit us every weekend here. We do have our wagon rides that you can take and all sorts of fun stuff. And coming up in June, we have our next big event. It's, it's Spring Valley's Country Fair. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.